Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> Excuse me. Somebody sent me a link to this video, so I thought I would check it out because even though it is a uh, date setting, well, a type of date setting, it's within a period of time here, Tabernacles, which is this. Okay, I looked it up. The Feast of Tabernacles, according to this, is from October 2nd to October 9th. Okay, so that's, I thought it was an eight-day feast, but this is making it, we'll see if you count the 2nd, 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. It's eight days, if you count it like that, from the 2nd to the 3rd. Anyway, you can do the math. It looks like an eight-day feast to me. Anyway, uh, Sukkot, commonly called Feast of Tabernacles, or in some translations, the Festival of Shelters, and known also as the Feast of Ingathering. Okay, now, I'm not telling you all that because we're supposed to keep it and all that. Some people think we should. The Lord is going to have everybody that has survived this, the, tri the Great Tribulation, that because of their, they've changed their faith to Christ, um, they will be protected. And there's going to be Orthodox Jews that will end up converting when Jesus comes back and sets his foot down on Mount Zion. And we will be following behind him on white horses. Okay, well, they're going to see that. And they're going to know, oh my goodness, how wrong were we? This is our king. Okay, so anyway. Um, I didn't want to get off track here. Alright, so anyway, the video they showed has to do with the Feast of Sukkot. It's from Roddy 61169 which I had not always agreed with everything he put up. But a lot of people really like him. And I'm sure a lot of people don't agree with everything I put up. So, as my sister in Christ Kathy says, you chew the meat and spit out the bones. So that's what I'm doing here. All right. This picture he's got up, is showing over on my left the third day of Passover Jesus fulfilled as the, the sacrificial lamb. I guess that was the third day of Passover. He was hung on a cross for us. Or that might have been the day he rose from the dead. Well, it says up here, Resurrection. And it's pointing to a menorah to the very first candle. Tabernacles that Jesus called. Okay. And that happened on 1 17. The first, the Jewish month, the first Jewish month, because you know their months are two months different than ours. So we're, we're usually in March, March to April. That happens in their first month, which their months change where Easter changes Easter, which I hate that word. I call it Resurrection Sunday. Uh, so when that is occurring, it can be in March or it can be in April. It has to do with the full moon or the moon cycle. And I don't remember how they determine it. At any rate, Jesus fulfilled the first three candles of the menorah. All right. Now, many have said in the past, if you look at the menorah that's made with like a U, the first and the last are connected. In the second candle 
it's like a shorter U and the second to the last and the second are connected. And then the next two over are connected like this with one in the middle. Okay, that hold, that's on a stand that holds it all up. All right, so he's showing a picture. If you can picture that in your mind, you've all seen menorahs of various sorts. He's got in a red circle 117 and the word resurrection. Okay, on that day was the resurrection from the dead. And others rose also. All right. Then the last candle, he's got Rezu Rapture. I don't know if this is his artwork or if he got it from someone else. Um, all right, now, if any of you remember, Roddy has a son who back in 2011, I'm going to see if he's got it on here. Okay, he says, NBA Finals starting the last day of September is pointing literally to the final days coinciding with the Feast of Tabernacles and the reopening of everything right on the edge of presidential elections. This is none less than the perfect stage for the snatching of the bride and the beginning of the Great Tribulation with the arrival of the A.C., on 1018, just as Luke 1018 describes it, giving his name in code as we now know him to be Barack Obama, only he's got B.O. Rapture Dream Dreams 2020. Okay, his son had a dream that the rapture happened during a particular basketball game when, let me see, he's got it on here. Okay. Into the field. He, um, here it is, I think. Yes. When the Lakers are playing the Heat. I don't know what town that is. Heat. But anyway, he's got all the basketball teams up here. But when the Lakers are playing the Heat, his son has said, when a certain player is playing for the Lakers, that's, that's the game that'll be being played when the rapture happens. And he got that dream so many years ago. And the guy used to be on the Heat team. And he was on Cleveland's team. And now he's on, uh, let's see, he's got him shown here. What's his name? Oh, it just says Lakers on his shirt. Uh, let's see what he's saying here which have LeBron James playing LeBron for them. James. This is unbelievable because back in those days, no one could imagine LeBron James playing for the Lakers. And when you thought about LeBron James, you were thinking about Cleveland or maybe Miami Heat because he did play Miami Heat, but not in the Lakers and now we have the both of them with LeBron James on the finals of the NBA which I think that the rapture happening on the finals of the NBA is extremely highly possible I believe this is details that the Lord has given us through all the years that are simply too much to be a coincidence now that they're both on the finals and this is incredible because there are so many details that are pointing to the third day of tabernacles which 
Okay, yeah, he goes on to say how Jesus didn't, his final tabernacle celebration, he didn't uh, go up right away, and his brothers had said, aren't you coming up to the festival? And uh, he said something like, no, it's not, not, I believe it was the King James that said it right, and some of the new versions have him just saying no, which makes him a liar because he does end up going up. Okay, but the ones, the King James, I believe it is, that says uh, not yet, or my time hasn't come yet, or, or whatever. However he says it, he's letting them know it'll be later or something like that. All right, so... He goes up the third day of tabernacles. Okay, so he's saying, you know, it could be uh, the day he went up, tabernacles is when I believe he was born. The first, okay, he, the resurrection happened on 117 by their calendars. The resurrapture, he's calling it, is going to happen on the first day of the 17th month for the, um, I don't know if it's the religious year or the civil year, he tells you. I forget. But it also happens to be 717, which was a big number last year, if y'all remember, in 2019. I even got a message saying it would be July 17th. Well, it's not July 17th, if it even happens this day. It's the Hebrew month, whatever that seven's for. He says it, but I don't remember. So, uh, the 717, there we go. That means Harpazo. 717 means Harpazo. It's just a... It's just a little encouragement if you want to look at it fine if you don't want to that's fine too so i'm just going to end it here and i'm going to leave the links well let me tell you if you can't see the links it's roddy r-o-d-y he spells them all lowercase is that a d r-o-d-y d another small d Roddy D. 61169 is what the channel is. And the title is Rapture During NBA Finals, comma, Third Day of Tabernacles. So you look it up. Look at all his uh, clues that he's collected over the years. Because of his son's dream, pointing to the NBA Finals, and then this other stuff, the dates, and the coincidences that make it all appear to be the third day of Sukkot. Maybe it will be. I think that would be awesome. I think we should be out of here already. So, hey, I'm like, well... It might be. It's just as good a day as any to hope for, right? Okay, so I'm going to end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over us all, over our computers and all of our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later.